Nityanandam. I am here to address the absurdities which are happening on the internet as well as the fictitious, fake and relentless attempts to harm and destroy the work of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism and Kailasa who stands for Hindu minority communities across the world in order to protect authentic Hinduism. It is alarming to see that in 2023 news media outlets follow such poor level of professionalism and ethic in the way that they fulfill their responsibilities. It is clear that the determination of these new media outlets is to misrepresent facts and reality in order to create ill feelings and ill emotions in people for self-serving interests. There's always two sides of a story and it is the responsibility of the news media outlets to get both sides before presenting a story to the public community on the internet and the social media platforms. By not doing so, it goes against the ethics and professionalism of journalism. News outlets have the responsibility to reflect the truth and not to misrepresent and abuse of the power which they have in order to mislead and gaslight the international. They have the responsibility to reflect the facts accurately in order not to incite hate towards a certain community. In this case, this article clearly shows that the intention of your news media outlet was to incite further persecution upon an already persecuted Hindu community across the globe which Kailasa stands for. This behavior is condemnable and professionally and ethically wrong. We strongly condemn such Hinduphobic, racist lawfare and fictitious disinformation systematically perpetrated towards our already persecuted minority Hindu community through such articles. History has shown that this is a weapon used by imperialist racists over thousands of years. This behavior is responsible for the displacement of millions of Hindus across the world over the last centuries and has pushed them into a state of homelessness and statelessness. While you may not be the original author of this article, but by publishing this article you are therefore responsible and accountable for the harm, the misinformation and the abuse that you are perpetrating through the content which you published towards an already persecuted community which Kailasa stands for. The information which you push through your article is factually wrong. The international community and public should know that the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Nityananda Paramashivam, has been going through an intense persecution for at least the last 15 years. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism has not been found guilty of any of the accusations which he was initially accused of. Everyone should know that more than 200 accusations had been slapped on the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, yet none of them had been proved true. 18,000 hours of hateful content has been pushed on news media outlets against the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism with the clear intention of destroying his public image, defaming him and stripping him away from all of what he had accomplished and contributed to so far in his life. Now we can all agree that 18,000 hours, which is the equivalent of two years of non-stop live 24-7 content being pushed on a single individual is not something that can happen by mistake. It is a happening which can only take place when certain vested interests infuse the time and the wealth required in order for such a happening to take place. Again, we are talking about more than two years of straight live negative content. On April 4th, 2013, the US has judged in the favor of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism and has claimed his innocence. The false accusators had been fined for an amount of half a million dollars for all the damage that they had caused. It should be noted 
that a federal Ohio court also ruled in favor of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism in the case number 213 CV 00526. The irrefutable evidence claim that he is a persecuted individual whose basic human rights have been denied from him and who has been suffering for such a persecution for more than a decade now, decade of lawfare and various forms of persecution. All that because of the relentless life positive work that he has given and offered to humanity since he started his public life. That being said, in your article, you are referring to a memorandum of understanding, which is not correct. The fact of the happening which took place with the government officials of Paraguay was related to a proclamation through which Kailasa does not gain anything. Furthermore, even if a memorandum of understanding had been signed that only commits Kailasa to contribute in the future towards various sectors with their international relationship with the local government. However, Kailasa, without any vested interest, without anything to gain, without the obligation to contribute, completely, selflessly, has already contributed to medical aids to the local people of the local communities in Paraguay. It should be noted that Kailasa humanitarian aid is not gathered through taxes like most countries would. It is raised through intense and hard work of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism and all the hard-working individuals which are highly inspired by the life of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism as well as the mission and vision which he offers to us all. Their hard work, their dedication, their selfless effort to raise the consciousness of humanity to improve the world that we live in for the future generations is how the humanitarian aid of Kailasa takes place. We therefore demand a sincere and unambiguous apology for the blatant inaccuracies and ill intention that your article presents towards the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism and Kailasa. A correction or a clarification acknowledging the false information promoted and providing accurate details about Kailasa is imperative in order to rectify the harm which has been caused through your article. As a responsible media entity, you are obliged to act in the public's interest and uphold high journalistic integrity. We anticipate your prompt cooperation in setting the record straight and by doing so, seizing the perpetual harmful narratives which are being pushed towards the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism and Kailasa and its citizens. We are open for further discussions and providing additional information as required. Thank you for your immediate action upon this most urgent matter. Nityananda. The United States of Kailasa is the revival of the ancient, enlightened Hindu civilizational nation which is being revived by the displaced Hindus from around the world. Unlike any other nation, the United States of Kailasa provides a base for the revival, preservation and central administration of Hinduism, similar to the Vatican, which serves as a central administration hub for the Roman Catholic Church. The Sovereign Order of Kailasa's Nityananda is an atypical government simultaneously functioning as the supreme governing body of Hinduism and a sovereign entity under the international law. This mirrors the unique status of the Holy See, which is an atypical government as well, as it serves as both the supreme governing body of the Catholic Church and a sovereign entity under international law. Kailasa is a non-violent, humanitarian, service-oriented nation, and we are being hammered and persecuted by Hindu-phobic, hindu music Hindu racist forces denying us our right to exist, denying us our right to get recognition, and denying us our right to survive. Few educated Hindu monks are going around the world contributing to humanity through their services and spreading Hinduism. Rites of Kailasa People with a common origin, 
history, language, culture, customs, or religion can turn into nation through the awakening of national consciousness. A nation can exist even without a state, as it is exemplified by stateless nations. Citizenship is not always the nationality of a person. The United Nations International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, the ICCPR, recognized by 178 nations across the globe, in its very first article stipulates, all peoples have the right to self-determination. By virtue of that right, they freely determine their political status and freely pursue their economic, social and cultural development. There are several examples of emerging nations where some would say yes they are a state and others would say no. What is incontrovertible is that self-determination is a human right enshrined in many international instruments including the United Nations Charter. Another incontrovertible human right is the right of freedom of religion. These are rights being exercised by all of Kailasa's citizens. Kailasa may be less recognized compared to other states, but that doesn't deny the people of Kailasa from exercising their fundamental human rights and political rights of building diplomatic relations and recognition on the international scene. The denial of Kailasa is the denial of the fundamental human rights to Hindus. It is the denial of the right to survival and the denial of the centuries of colonization and persecution. Like indigenous people from all over the world, indigenous Hindu communities have been subjected to centuries of slavery, oppression, forced labor and sexual exploitation during colonization. Hindus were trafficked as slaves, indentured laborers and subjected to sexual exploitation during the slave trade during the empirical rule. It has been well documented that indigenous communities that were subjected to such empirical rule are impacted by a 50 times higher prevalence of violence against women. Such is the deep multi-generational impact of the centuries of persecution, slavery and sexual exploitation done during the empirical rule. Millions of Hindus have lost their right to live, the right to practice and express their beliefs, spirituality and religion, rights to express their art and traditions, free from denigration, interference, and violence during this multi-generational, transnational, colonial racism. Repeatedly, all over, the media has shown denial of Kailasa, repeatedly calling it a fictional country. This is denying the existence of Kailasa, and in doing so, it is the denial of the very purpose and need of Kailasa. Hindus have been orphaned through centuries of persecution, slavery, colonization, massacres, brutalities, and worse crimes of genocides, which killed more than 400 million indigenous Hindus, pushing them into generations of homelessness and statelessness. Contributions of Kailasa globally. The reviver of the United States of Kailasa, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagadguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam, has dedicated his life to reviving Kailasa. He has over four decades of service, history, and numerous accomplishments to his credits. Kailasa, without any vested interests, without anything to gain, without any obligations to contribute, completely, selflessly, has already contributed approximately to 5 million PYG worth of medical aids to support the people in the said local community in Paraguay. Kailasa's humanitarian aid is not through taxes, as how most established nations would, but is instead raised through hard work and sacrifices of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism and the contributions of hard-working individuals of a persecuted minority indigenous community that are inspired to do the same, witnessing the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Nityananda Paramashivam's relentless sacrifices and unshakable commitment towards the revival of Kailasa the ancient enlightened Hindu civilizational nation, the first nation for Hindus. Despite facing such brutal persecution, Hinduism is the most peaceful and contributing civilization on planet Earth. Indigenous Hindu nations have lived peacefully for more than 10,000 years without invading or colonizing any other nation. 
Hindu civilizations have only contributed selflessly without any hidden agenda. Likewise, despite facing all the persecution, Kailasa looks forward to the flourishing development of people all around the world. Through the provision of this substantial medical aid, Kailasa exemplifies its dedication to serve as a catalyst for global change. Contributions of Kailasa For the past nearly 30 years, Kailasa ecosystems around the world have served over 1 billion free meals in total. The citizens and volunteers of Kailasa have saved millions of human lives through various disaster relief works, such as, in 2012, the Tain Cyclone, blood donation camp, medical camps, food offering, etc., were offered during those disasters. In May 2021, Kailasa opened its temple monastic community premises, Adinams, in India to provide multi-layer preventive quarantine as a free service for protecting people from the COVID-19 pandemic. Irrespective of the race, religion, caste, nationality, gender, etc., the service was offered completely free of charge to all. In the past three years, through these preventive quarantine centers, Kailasa saved thousands of lives with zero reported cases of COVID infection. These are just some of the instances of Kailasa's humanitarian services provided through the relentless, selfless hard work and sacrifices of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Nityananda Paramashivam. The sacrifices and relentless efforts of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism have inspired Hindus all over the world to donate and contribute their time and talent towards these humanitarian causes. Recognition by the United Nations Kailasa stands as a testament to the unwavering resilience of the persecuted indigenous Hindu communities subjected to multi-generational oppression, slavery, and severe human rights violations. The United Nations, through over 13 published reports, have affirmed the documented persecution endured by Kailasa endorsing the veracity of our struggle.